chest trauma is a term to describe any type of injury or trauma that occurs to the chest wall area. It could be penetrating chest trauma, which is most commonly caused by a knife or gunshot wound. This injury could result in bleeding and cause a hemothorax, or it could cause air leakage, which would result in a pneumothorax. As a respiratory therapist or medical professional, it's important to know how to treat and care for these types of patients. This video was created to help make the learning process easier for you. So if you're ready, let's get into it. First, let's talk about the common causes of chest trauma. Blunt trauma, motor vehicle accident, falls, sports injuries, physical assaults, knife or gunshot wounds, chest compressions, and broken ribs. Keep in mind that there are other causes of chest trauma. These are just a few of the most common examples. Now let's look at the signs and symptoms of chest trauma. The patient may show signs of chest pain, shortness of breath, tachypnea, tachycardia, cyanosis, shallow breathing, hypoxemia, bruising and inflammation, paradoxical chest movement, pneumothorax, hypotension, and hemoptysis. Again, a patient may experience other signs and symptoms with chest trauma. These are just a few of the most common examples that you may see. And the severity of each symptom may vary from patient to patient. It really just depends on the severity of the injury that has occurred. Now let's talk about the treatment for chest trauma. The treatment really just depends on the severity of the injury. The respiratory therapist or medical professional will need to perform an assessment to determine the status of the patient. Certain tests, such as a chest x-ray and CT scan, would be helpful. Oxygen therapy may be indicated if hypoxemia is present. And in severe cases, intubation and mechanical ventilation would be indicated for apnea or ventilatory failure. The patient will likely be experiencing extreme levels of pain, therefore analgesic medications would be indicated. Hyperinflation therapies such as incentive spirometry would be helpful in order to prevent atelectasis. And if a pneumothorax or hemothorax is present, the insertion of a chest tube would be indicated. Again, these are just a few examples of the common types of treatment for chest trauma. It's going to vary from patient to patient. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.